The Logic of Scientific Discovery is a 1959 book about the philosophy of science by Karl Popper. Popper rewrote his book in English from the 1934 German original, titled Logik der Forschung. Zur Erkenntnistheorie der modernen Naturwissenschaft, which literally translates as, Logic of Research, on the Epistemology of Modern Natural Science. Summary Popper argues that science should adopt a methodology based on falsifiability, because no number of experiments can ever prove a theory, but a reproducible experiment or observation can refute one. According to Popper, "...non-reproducible single occurrences are of no significance to science." Thus a few stray basic statements contradicting a theory will hardly induce us to reject it as falsified. We shall take it as falsified only if we discover a reproducible effect which refutes the theory." Popper argues that science should adopt a methodology based on an asymmetry between verifiability and falsifiability, an asymmetry which results from the logical form of universal statements. For these are never derivable from singular statements, but can be contradicted by singular statements. Reception The logic of scientific discovery is famous. The psychologist Harry Guntrip wrote that its publication, "...greatly stimulated the discussion of the nature of scientific knowledge," including by philosophers who did not completely agree with Popper, such as Thomas Kuhn and Horace Romano Harre. Carl Jung, founder of analytical psychology, valued the work. The biographer Vincent Brome recalls Young remarking in 1938 that it exposed some of the shortcomings of science. The historian Peter Gay described Popper's work as an important treatise in epistemology. The philosopher Brian McGee wrote that Popper's criticisms of logical positivism were devastating. In his view, Popper's most important argument against logical positivism is that, while it claimed to be a scientific theory of the world, its central tenet, the verification principle, effectively destroyed all of science. The physicists Alan Sokol and Jean Bricamont argued that critiques of Popper's work have provoked an irrationalist drift and that a significant part of the problems that currently affect the philosophy of science can be traced to ambiguities or inadequacies in Popper's book. Notes External links English version publishers website German version publishers website Excerpts on Google Books Full version on Internet Archive